this is uh, that is the second question. Yung answer natin is number two. Okay? So, punta na tayo sa second, uh, sa third question. Okay, so next question natin guys is a pie graph, no? So, mahalaga ba yung pie dyan? So, hindi natin kailangang malaman yung ibang words dyan, okay? Yung nasa graph lang, yung may mga percentage, and then kung tama ba yung man and got, and yeah, so ganun lang ulit, okay? Yeah, so, burahin muna natin ulit yung mga words na hindi natin kailangan, and then itira natin yung mga diniscuss natin, and yeah, let's start. Number one, nakalagay, nakalagay, Hanguk umshik. Stop. Stop ka na dyan. Hanguk umshik. Then yung nasa dulo is kajang choksum nida. Ano yung kajang choksum nida? Pinakamaliit. Okay? Yung hanguk umshik ba yung pinakamaliit? So check natin. Yeah. Okay? Hanguk umshik is only 11%. So ibig sabihin, number one na agad yung tamang sagot. Okay? So pwede na tayong uh, magsagot na ibang questions kung, na, uh, kung nag exam na tayo. Okay? So ganun lang kadali yung uh, mga graph na exam. Hindi natin kailangan malaman yung Hanguk Sengwell, John John. Hindi natin kailangan malaman yung mga ibang ah uh, so para ka lang. So, pwede mong uh, exchange o palitan yung mga words dito ng mga kunyari. Yung Hanguk Umshik, gawin mong sir, uh, circle, yung K-pop, gawin mong triangle. So parang um i-match mo lang kung tama ba yung nasa description doon sa choices. Okay? Okay, so number two guys, yung Dejong Gyutong. Okay? Stop ka diyan, Dejong Gyutong. Hi guys! Welcome back to Hangul Formula. This is Angelo. And in this video guys, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano sagutan yung isang type of questions sa EPS topic exam na inaakala ng iba na sobrang hirap dahil sa mga komplikadong drawings, may mga percentage pa, and then mga malalalim na Korean terminologies. Okay? But in fact, and it is proven that this kind of question, this type of question is one of the most easiest question and can be considered as bonus points sa, uh, sa exam. Okay? So kung bakit, malalaman niya. So, ito yung questions with graph, okay? Yung mga bar graph, may pie graph, and kung ano-ano pang graph. And yung mga words na ginagamit, yung mga terms na ginagamit dito is medyo hindi talaga siya common. Kaya aakalain talaga ng iba na mahirap siyang sagutan. But uh, all you need to know are some vocabs na paulit-ulit lang ginagamit uh, with this question. And yan yung i-discuss muna natin bago tayo magsagot ng mga questions, okay? So, the first word, guys, na, uh, uh, ginagamit sa mga question na to is yung kajang. Ito yung pinaka-importante, guys. Ito yung pinaka-gamit na gamit. Okay? Kasi nga, ang meaning nito ay pinaka. Okay? Kajang. The most. Yung pinaka. Okay? The, this is an adverb, guys. And, idinudugtong lang to sa mga adjectives na gagamitin natin. Okay? And, another word, guys, yung pangalawa is yung puda. Okay? Puda. Ginagamit yung puda sa pagkukumpara. Pag, uh, in comparison. Okay? Kasi, Uh, this is graph. So, may mga percentage. So, ikukumpara mo kung alin yung pinakamataas, kung mas mataas ba yung isang percentage or isang uh, word or yung isang pagpipilian kaysa dun sa isa. Okay? That is puda or dan. Okay? Kaysa, uh, in Tagalog, that is kaysa okay? or dan. Okay? Yeah. So, that is puda. Okay? So, next word natin, guys, is yung chokta. Chokta. Ibig sabihin ng chokta is to be few pag ang pinag-uusapan natin is quantity or to be little pag ang pinag-uusapan natin is yung amount okay in amount of something volume of something okay chokta and yung chokta guys meron siyang verb form okay ginagamit siya sa verb pero ang ibig sabihin naman nito is uh, to write down chogoyo okay but yung chokta na adjective is ginagamit pag uh, gusto mong i-describe yung isang bagay as to be uh, maliit or short or konti lang. Okay? Ito yung kabaliktara ng word na manta. Okay? Manta naman is yung pinakamarami. To be many. To be a uh, large number of something. Okay? Or pwede mong gamitin na pinakamalaking bagay, pinakamalaking number ng tao. Pag pinag-uusapan natin is quantity. Okay? To be many. That is uh, manta. Okay? So next guys is yung word na dubonchero. Okay? Okay? Two is from uh, the word or yung number na two, tool, two, okay? Pag yung two is ginagamit mo, uh, minsan natatanggalan siya ng last uh, consonant, yung pachim, pag may kasunod siyang mga counters, okay? Two ponche, ibig sabihin pangalwa, second, second sa, so depende, two ponche, manta. Ibig sabihin pangalwa sa pinakamarami or two ponche, 
Chokta, pangalwa sa pinaka-konte. So, depende kung ano yung kasunod niya na uh, adjective. Okay? Okay. So, next guys is yung word na nukta. Nukta. Nukta naman guys, ibig sabihin niya is pinakamataas. Pag ang pinag-uusapan natin ay height. Okay? Ang kabaligtara naman ito is nata. Okay? Najayo. Nata. To be low. Ibig sabihin low as in mababa yung position niya. Okay? Nukta is high. And not ta is to be low. Okay? And next guys is yung ban. Ibig sabihin ng ban is kalahate. Okay? Uh, kalahate. Kung rem, uh, familiar ko sa ban, isang, imni, isang imnida. Ibig sabihin is more than half. Okay? Ban. Isang is uh, a verb. To be more than of something. Isang. Okay? More than. Ban, isang imnida. Ibig sabihin naman niya is more than half. Okay? Yeah. So, next word natin, guys, is yung uh, tube nomta. Okay? Uh, Isa-isa natin. Do is also from uh, to. To. Pe is number of times. Or yung number of fold. Okay? To. And nomta, dube nomta, ibig sabihin naman is to be over. Lampas. Okay? To go uh, beyond. To be more than. Okay? And tube nomta. Ibig sabihin yan, tube nomta is uh, more than... A double. Ibig sabihin, na doble na more than that pa. Okay? So, that is tubega nomta. Okay? So, next guys is uh, same as bani isang imnida. Yung isa naman is cholbani nomta. So, ganun din yun. To be uh, more than half. Okay? Cholbani nomta. Okay? And last guys is, uh, yeah. So, ito yung makikita mo sa uh, isa sa mga question na sasagutan natin. Ibig sabihin naman niya ay to like something, okay? Chuwahada, okay? Kasi yung isa sa question is about uh, liking something, okay? Yung survey, yung question survey is to something na yung gusto mo. Kaya ginamit tong word na to, okay? To chuwahada, to be, uh, to like something even more, okay? Okay, alam na natin yung mga words, mga terminologies, mga terms na kailangan natin to answer this question. Let's start answering, okay? And nangulit ako ng five questions to prove to you na ito talaga yung isa sa mga pinakmadaling questions sa exam. Okay? And let's start with this one. So the first thing you need to do is alamin mo, i-confirm mo muna kung yung hinahanap ba dito is yung man and God. Ibig sabihin yung tama. Okay? Ibig sabihin sa choices, uh, mayroong apat na choices, tatlo dun ay mali at isa yung tama. At yung tama ang isi-shade mo. And if ever na makita mo yung two lingot, ibig sabihin naman is yung mali, uh, yung mali yung hinahanap, ibig sabihin may tatlong tama sa choices at isang mali. At, at yung mali, na statement, yun yung isi-shade mo. Okay? But, uh, from my experience naman, hindi uh, kadalasan naman man nun good lang yung hinahanap. But, just in case na tuling good yung makita mo sa dulo, uh, ganun yung gawin mo. Okay? And once na ma-check mo na uh, kung yung man nun good yung hinahanap, pwede ka nang dumiretso sa choices. At para mas madali natin maintindihan, let's try to erase yung mga words or yung mga terms na hindi natin kailangan dito sa question. Ititira lang natin yung mga Bukas na uh, in-explain natin yung diniscuss natin and yung mga words na nandun sa graph. Yung mga uh, items na nandun. Okay? Okay. So, <laughs> hala sir, binura mo na lahat. Paano pa namin masasagutan yan, sir? So, don't worry guys. Ituturo ko kayo kung paano. Okay? So, yeah. So, yung natira na lang natin is yung mga country. Yung Vietnam, yung Miguk, yung Singapore, yung uh, Hong Kong. So, yun lang yung mga kailangan natin sa graph. And then sa choices, kailangan lang natin yung mga words na uh, dineskas natin kanina. Okay? So, tingnan natin kung paano. Okay? So, number one guys, nakalagay dyan, beto nam eh, kajang chokke. Okay? Yung beto nam daw is yung kajang chok. Ano yung kajang kanina? Yung dineskas natin, it's the most. Yung pinaka. And then followed by chokke. So, saan ang galing yung chokke, sir? Sabi mo kanina is chokta. Chok sumida. Saan yung galing yung chokke? So, chokke, yung uh, original verb is chok. Ta, and then tatanggalin mo yung verb stem pa. And yung verb stem, pag dagdagan mo yan ng ke, nagiging adverb lang. So, hindi naman mahalaga. Kailangan lang natin dito is yung cho. Ibig sabihin, uh, to be few, uh, to be little in quantity, in amount. Okay? Ibig sabihin, yung beto nam daw, siya daw yung pinaka maliit yung bilang. And yung sa graph natin, kung titingnan natin, yung beto nam, that is 599 only. And yan yung pinaka maliit talaga. So, ibig sabihin, this statement is yung right answer yung number one. Okay? 
But still, tingnan natin kung bakit naging mali yung number 2 and number uh, 3, 2, 3, and 4. Okay? So, number 2 guys, taka na guys, Singapore eh kajang money. Okay? Kajang money. Ano yung pinaka-important dito? Yung kajang manta or man, money. Okay? So, kajang pinaka and money or manta is to be many. Yung pinaka marami, yung pinaka uh, maraming uh, numbers. Okay? So, alin ba? Singapore ba may pinaka maraming numbers? No. So, Singapore... Uh, we only have 860. And yung pinakamarami natin is 100, uh, 1,377. So, ibig sabihin, this statement is wrong. Okay? And, yeah. So, number 3 guys, check natin. Hong Kong eh, 2 bonchero money. Ano yung kaninang 2 bonche? Ibig sabihin ng 2 is, 2 is from Dul. Okay? Yung uh, native Korean number, ibig sabihin is 2. And 2 bonche, pangalwa. 2 bonchero, pangalwa sa... Uh, pinakamarami. Okay, ano ba yung pina pangalawa sa pinakamarami? It's 860 and that is Singapore, not Hong Kong. Okay, ibig sabihin mali din yung number 3. Okay? And number 4, Migok Puda. So here guys, dito medyo uh, nakakalito. May Puda na. Okay? Kanina, dinis ka natin what is Puda? That is Dan. Okay? Sa Tagalog, Kaisa. Okay? Pag nagkukumpara. And yung word before Puda, yun yung uh, doon natin ikinukumpara yung isa pang bagay which is yung Vietnam so ang ikinukumpara natin is yung Miguk yung America and yung Vietnam and Vietnam and yung uh, kadalasan yung mga word na may marker yun yung tinutukoy sa last uh, verb natin or yung uh, mga diniscuss nating words okay ang nakalagay dyan to money okay ibig sabihin to more so yung more ginagamit natin yan pag nagkukumpara tayo ng mga words ibig sabihin Yung Vietnam daw, to, more, money. So, mas marami daw yung Vietnam kaysa sa Migok. Hindi natin kailangan intindihin yung ibang words. Uh, uh, parang common sense lang. Common knowledge lang kailangan natin gamitin to answer this type of question. Okay? But still, mas okay kung alam natin yung mga vocabs na ginamit. But, okay? So, just in case lang nakulang tayo sa time para mag-aral and this uh, type of question is hindi natin na-aral yung mga vocabs, we can use this method. Okay? Yeah. So, Migok Puda, Vietnam, to money. Yung Vietnam daw ay to money. So, mas marami daw yung Vietnam sa Migok. Tama ba yun? Yung Vietnam is actually yung pinakamaliit and yung Migok is uh, 803. Ibig sabihin, baliktad yung statement. So, number 4 is wrong as well. Okay? Yeah. So, for number uh, for this question, ang answer natin is number 1. Okay? So, doon na tayo sa uh, second question. Okay, so second question guys, ganun pa rin. I-confirm natin kung man din gato yung hinahanap. And then, uh, try natin i-eliminate na yung ibang words na nandyan. Itira lang natin yung mga words na nasa graph. And then, uh, yung mga words na i-discuss natin. Okay, yung mga descriptive verb and yung dan. So, etc. Yeah, so dito naman, man nun gato pa rin yung hinahanap. So, yung tama pa rin. Okay? And then, yung pinakamalaki, Jeju Op. With 65.2% and yung pinakamalit is 6.9%. Ah, uh, oo, ah, uh, oo, okay? Yeah. Okay, so here guys, hindi natin inaalam lahat ng words dito guys, okay? Tinitin lang natin kung paano ito sagutan ng uh, pinakamadaling paraan. And then, uh, also to prove to you na ito yung isa sa mga bonus points mga EPS topic exams, okay? Yeah. So, tingnan natin yung choices. Oo, okay? Yung oo, agad nandito na, okay? Oo, daw is kajang nukta. Hindi natin pinapakalaman yung mga word, yung oo lang yung halaga, yung mga... na nasa graph, no? And then, yung kajang and then nupta. Okay? Nupsub din tayo. Ibig sabihin, pinaka mataas. Kajang, as in, high. Okay? Pinaka mataas yung percentage. Okay? Oop ba? Okay? So, oop is yung actually pinaka mababa. So, number one is wrong. Okay? Then, number two, jeju op. Okay? Jeju op. And then, that is 65.2%. Sa dulo nakalagay, pan isang imnida. Okay, ban isang. Ibig sabihin, ban kalahati isang above. More than half daw yung uh, jeju up. Okay? So, that is actually correct. No? Meron tayong 65.2% uh, which is above uh, 50% kaya pwede natin siya i-considered as uh, pan isang. Ibig sabihin, more than half. So, answer natin for this one is number 2. Okay? Yeah. So, uh, check natin yung number 3 and number 4 kung mali, tila mali talaga sila. So, console. Ano yung console here? 18.1% uh, Console puda. So, may puda na naman. Ibig sabihin, dan console. Okay? okay? Kaysa dun sa console. Okay? 
Yeah. So, ano yung ikinocompare nyo sa console? Yung may marker. Okay? Yung nung chok. Nasa yung chok, ay nasa yung marker na andun sa su. So, ibig sabihin yan is yung bilang. Nandyan yung marker. So, yung nung chok daw ay mansum nida. Mas malaki kaysa dun sa uh, console. Nasaan yung uh, uh, nung chok? Ito. With 9.9%, mas malaki ba siya dun sa bilang nung console? No. So, 18.1 yung console. Okay? And then, 9.9 lang yung nung chok. Ibig sabihin, number 3 is mali din. Okay? And then, guys, tingnan natin yung number 4. So, nung chok sanop, chung sa jaga. So, ga. Chung sa jaga. Ga. Naandyan yung marker. Ibig sabihin, yung, yan yung tinutukoy natin nung descriptive verb sa dulo. Okay? Yan yung i-describe niya. Okay? Yung nung chok sanop daw is dube ga. No? So, what is dube? Twice. Twofold. Doble. Okay? And then, nung sumida, more than that pa. So, ano yun? Mas, ah, uh, doble no pa yung Jeju up here. So, this, this is Jeju up. No? Yung kung saan siya kinukumpara. Jeju up daw. So, doble no pa yung number ng Jeju up. Mas malaki pa rin yung uh, nung chok. Which is wrong. So, yung Jeju up natin is actually yung pinakamalaki. And kahit doblehin mo, kahit hindi mo doblehin yung Jeju up, mas malaki pa rin siya dun sa nung chok. Okay? So, that's why number 4 is wrong. Okay? So, that, this is, uh, that is the second question. Yung answer natin is number 2. Okay? So, punta na tayo sa second, uh, sa third question. Okay, so next question natin guys is a pie graph, no? So, mahalaga ba yung pie dyan? So, hindi natin kailangan malaman yung ibang words dyan, okay? Yung nasa graph lang, yung may mga percentage, and then kung tama ba yung man and got, and yeah, so ganun lang ulit, Okay? Yeah, so, burahin muna natin uli yung mga words na hindi natin kailangan and then itira natin yung mga diniscuss natin. And, yeah, let's start. Number one, nakalagay, nakalagay, hanguk umshik. Stop. Stop ka na dyan. Hanguk umshik. Then yung nasa dulo is kajang choksum nida. Ano yung kajang choksum nida? Pinakamaliit. Okay? Yung hanguk umshik ba yung pinakamaliit? So, check natin. Yeah. Okay? Hanguk umshik is only 11%. So, ibig sabihin, Number one na agad yung tamang sagot, okay? So, pwede na tayong uh, magsagot na ibang questions kung, na, uh, kung nag exam na tayo, okay? So, ganun lang kadali yung uh, mga graph na exam. Hindi natin kailangan malaman yung Hanguk, Sengwell, Chonchom. Hindi natin kailangan malaman yung mga ibang... Uh, so, para ka lang, so, pwede mong uh, exchange o palitan yung mga words dito ng mga kunyari. Yung Hanguk Umshik, gawin mong sir, uh, circle. Yung K-pop, gawin mong triangle. So, parang... Um, imamatch mo lang kung tama ba yung nasa description doon sa choices. Okay? Okay, sa so number 2 guys, yung Dejong Gyutong. Okay? Stop ka dyan. Dejong Gyutong. Okay? Huwag mo napansin yung iba. Okay? Dejong Gyutong nakalagay Cholbani no? Sumnida. So, Cholbani is half. Nam Sumnida is to be over. To go beyond. So, lampas ng kalahati. More than half. So, tingnan natin. Nasaan ba yung ano? Uh, Dejong Gyutong. Here, no? With 46%. And to be considered as more than half, kay anong kailangan? That is, uh, kailangan 50% and above. And meron lang tayong 46%, ibig sabihin, mali yung statement. Okay? So, number 2 is wrong. Number 3, keekut han hwangyong. Okay, saan yan? 20%. Okay? And then, check natin ano yung nasa dulo na uh, description. Tu bonchero man sumnida. Tu bonche. Tu bonche. Second, Man sumnida, pinakamarami. Pangalawa daw sa pinakamarami. So, tama ba yun? Check natin. Yung kekut han, han gyong, nakalagay, is 20%. Ano yung uh, ibang percentage? May, meron tayong 23%. Ibig sabihin, 20% is uh, pangatlo lang sa pinakamataas. Or pangalawa sa pinakamababa. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, number 3 is wrong as well. And then, number 4, hanguk drama. Okay? Hanapin na lang natin yung may K-pop. Only 23%. Ang sabi niya, kajang man sumnida. So, yun ba yung tamang statement? No. Yung pinakamarami natin is yung 46%. Yung purely hanang dejong kyuto. Okay? So, yeah. So, answer for this one is number one. And, yeah. Next question tayo. Okay. So, yung next question natin is another bar graph. Okay? So, yeah. Kung so, titignan mo talaga, mayroon pang ang dami-daming percentage. Napakahirap sagot. <laughs> but, in fact, bakit... Uh, bakit ginawa nyo lang ganyan? So, para lang malito lang tayo mga uh, uh, mga examinees. Okay? So, yeah. So, ganun pa rin. Tama, yung tama bang hinahanap? Man nun got? Yes. Man nun got pa rin yung hinahanap. And then, uh, erase na natin ulit yung ibang mga ano. Just ta, uh, para lang mas madaling maintindihan. Pero sa exam, di mo naman kailangan gawin yun. Okay? 
Ah, sa exam, handang-handa ka na ibig sabihin. Kaya mas madali mo itong gagawin kahit hindi mo na i-erase yung mga hindi natin kailangan. Okay? So, yeah. So, number one agad tayo. Nakalagay, chuyong hantong nyo. Nasa yung chuyong hantong nyo? Here, with only 23%. Ano yung nasa dulo? Kajang mansumida. So, yun ba yung pinakamarami? No. So, 45% yung pinakamataas natin. So, number one is wrong. Number two, chinjor han. Tung yun. Sa yung chinjor han? Ito yung pinakamababa, 7%. And nakalagay? To chua ham nida. Okay, guys. Meron pala tayo ditong puda. Okay? So, pag may puda, meron kinukumpara. Okay? So, yung uh, chinjor han tung yun. Diyan ikinukumpara. And yung kinukumpara dyan, and kung ano yung tinutukoy nung nasa description o yung nasa last verb, tingnan natin. So, yung chong jik han. So, yan yung tinutukoy nung to chua ham nida. Ano yung chua hada? To like. Ibig sabihin, to chua hada. Mas gusto daw ng mga kung ano man yung mga tao dyan, mas gusto nila yung chong jik han kaysa dun sa chinjor han. Okay? Ibig sabihin, sa percentage dapat mas mataas yung chong jik han kaysa sa chinjor han. So, tingnan natin. Chong Jik Han is 25% and Chin Jor Han is only 7%. Ibig sabihin, this statement is correct. No? So, mas gusto daw yung Chong Jik Han, mas mataas yung Chong Jik Han kaysa sa Chin Jor Han. Okay? Ilan yung uh, Chong Jik Han? 25%. Ilan yung Chin Jor Han? 7%. So, this one is the correct, correct answer. But number 3 and number 4, Song Shir Han. So, meron pa tayong another uh, puda, another comparison. But sa exam, guys, once na makita mo, uh, makita mo na yung tamang sagot, skip mo na. Okay? Sagutan mo na. Once na sure ka na, lipat ka na sa next question. Okay? Dito, para lang explain natin kung bakit nga ba mas, bakit nga ba mali yung 3 and 4. Okay? Then, yeah. So, dito naman, saan ay kinukumpara dun sa Song Shilhan, puda. Nandun kasi yung puda. Dun nakadikit. And yung tinutukoy sa last verb, Tinjor Han. So, this time, yung chinjorhan naman daw, mas gusto kaysa dun sa song shield. Ibig sabihin, kung tama itong uh, statement na to, mas mataas dapat yung percentage ng chinjorhan kaysa dun sa song shield. Okay? So, let's see. So, chinjorhan is only 7% and uh, song shield is 45%. It's actually, yun yung pinakamataas. Okay? So, uh, kaya mas uh, mali itong number 3 na to. Okay? And number 4, Chong Jik Han Tung Yu. Okay, so wala namang puda. Ibig sabihin, walang comparison. Pwede na tayong uh, dumiretso hanggang sa, dun sa dulo. Ching Jok, uh, ching, uh, Chong Jik Han Tung Yu. Then sa dulo, Pani Nom Sum Nida. Mas uh, langpas, lagpas daw ng kalahate. More than half. Again. So, makikita nyo guys, paulit-ulit lang. Nakailang questions na tayo. And paulit-ulit lang yung mga vocabs or yung mga terms na ginamit. Yung mga pang-describe ng uh, graph. Okay? Yeah. So, ibig sabihin, Bonus points talaga siya, okay? So, yeah. So, sabi dyan, yung Chong Ji Khan is uh, more than half. Nasa ba yung Chong Ji? It's only 25%. So, this one is wrong, okay? Yeah. So, last question tayo, guys. Okay. So, last question, guys. We, uh, meron naman tayong pie graph, okay? Yeah. So, manungot pa rin ba hinahanap? It's, yes, it's manungot here. And, yeah. <laughs> okay, so ano yung pinakamataas natin? Yan, kong, uh, konggang shikpum. 53, and pinakamababa natin is yung uh, 17% na sense na ut. Okay, so yeah, so let's try answering this one. So nakalagay sa number one, uh, ut, ut. So marami bang kasunod? Stop na tayo sa ut. Okay, just ut is kajang choksum nida daw, nasa dulo. So yun ba yung pinakamababa? No. Uh, ut natin pala is hindi siya yung pinakamababa. That is 17%. Meron pang mas mababa which is 10% ng kinyong pum. Okay? So, number one is strong. Number two, wajang pum. Okay? Stop na tayo dyan sa wajang pum. Wajang pum is 20, uh, 20, per, 20 percent. So, ano yung nasa dulo niya? Ano yung description? Chol banul nom sumida. So, lampas na naman daw ba ng kalahate? Okay? So, yung wajang pum is only 23 percent. So, this one is wrong. Okay? And number three, konggang shikpum nakalagay is so walang puda, diretso na tayo sa dulo, yung description, o yung verb, yung adjective sa English, kajang mansunida. So, konggang shikpum daw yung pinakamarami. So, yeah, that is 53%. And, yeah, kung uh, lampas din siya ng kalahate. So, answer here, guys, is number three. And number four, king yung pum, so wala pa rin puda, uh, punta na tayo sa dulo, is, is, 2 ponche ro man Ano yung 2 ponche? 
second, and then mansunod na to be many. Pangalawa sa pinaka marami daw yung kinyong pum. So kinyong pum is only 10% and yung pangalawa sa pinaka marami is yung hajang pum. So number four is wrong. Okay, so ganun lang kadali answeran yung mga uh, graph question. No? So ang daming nakalagay dyan, hindi na napaka-unnecessary ng iba. So hindi mo na kailang uh, alamin pa sa mismong exam. But um, still, kailangang marami ka pa rin baon na vocab. So the more, you know, uh, more vocab you know, the more chances of winning. No? The more chances of passing the exam. Okay? Yeah, so... Uh, basta may time kayo, ipon ko lang ng bokab and yung mga ganitong klase ng uh, exam na hindi mo ka lang pag-isi, uh, pag-isipan na malalim, uh, ganito lang yung gawin mo. Okay? Para makatipid ka sa oras. Okay? So, naniniwala na ba kayo na uh, ito yung uh, bonus point sa exam or isa sa pinakamadali? So, comment nyo lang sa uh, comment section. And if ever na gusto nyo malaman uh, in detail this, itong mga questions na to, so, comment nyo lang din, gagawan ko lang siya, uh, gagawan ko siya ng ibang uh, ng separate videos. Okay? Isa-isa. And if ever na hindi nyo kailangan, so move on na tayo sa ibang questions, sa ibang type of questions, okay? So once again guys, thank you for watching. So umabot na tayo ng 7,000 followers sa Facebook. So thank you guys for supporting my page and also my uh, YouTube channel. Okay? So bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.